Yeah, just tell Scotty we'll be here all morning, okay? Well, that was Rhonda in Scotty's office. Uh, he's going to come by here later this morning. Yeah, I heard. What's, uh, why? Well, I imagine to get us ready for the hearing. Wait, wait, wait. No, Try sticking that one on there. Um, honey, I wish we could just go through one morning without having to talk about this custody hearing. Well, so do I, but we can't put this off. No, you're right. I mean, I, I know we have to prepare. It's just that, you know, Lucas and I have been having a good time playing over there. All you've been thinking about for months is getting custody of Lucas, and now you don't want to deal with it. I don't get it. Well, it's just that Tiffany's been trying to be so nice. I mean, she let Lucas spend the night, and she's trying to make amends, and... I'm very proud of your behavior. I really am, both of you. Thanks, honey. Well, you know, I've been thinking maybe we can be friends with Tiffany after all. Um, I, um, I've been feeling a little guilty about something that I, um, that I almost did to her. What are you talking about? What did you almost do to Tiffany? You haven't answered my question. What did you almost do to Tiffany? Uh, honey, I'm really sorry. I hope you can understand this because I, um, I hired a detective to dig up things about Tiffany's oh, past. You did a detective? How could you do such a thing? Well, because I thought she was going to win custody of Lucas. And about after she found out everything about me. And, and I just lied to me in the process, that. right? Well, it doesn't matter, honey, because I already fired oh, him. Oh, it matters to me a lot. Who'd you fire? The de well, the detective. You see, you remember when we were at the Outback and Sean and Tiffany came in and, you know, they were nice. And we had this nice... Thing, and, and then you started talking about friendship and honesty and everything, and then I felt bad, and then the detective found all this information, but I told him that I wasn't interested. I did. I'm telling you the truth. You're supposed to tell me the truth. It's not supposed to be a surprise, you know? I can't believe you. You hire a detective, you lie to me. I, you know, this worries me. It's, it's just that I love Lucas so much. It's just, I don't know what happened, you know? It just makes me do things sometimes that I... That I wouldn't ordinarily do. Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Have you forgotten that it almost broke up our marriage the last time? No, honey, I remember very well. And that's why I'm telling you the truth now. Because I don't want to risk ever losing you again. Mr. Dane? How do you do? Are you the uh, guy that called me last night? I'm glad you could make it. Well, did you think I wouldn't make it after that phone call? I mean, I'm a reporter. My I didn't expect to hear this early. The early bird catches the worm, I suppose. Yes, I suppose. Why don't we just get to the point? You said something about an obscure film an that nobody's seen. An obscure film? I didn't say anything about an obscure film that nobody's seen. Then why don't you just tell me what you're talking I about? I saw the film. Now, you don't be coy with me, understand? It doesn't become you. I don't think you know anything about me. I know about plenty me. about you, as a matter of fact, lady. I've done my homework. As the police commissioner's wife, I'm sure you wouldn't want to get a little piece of art like this all around the neighborhood, would you, Trixie? He tackles Tennessee. Well, I guess it's the contents that count. Does it enlighten? Does it entertain? Where did you get it? I had to search far and wide. This is probably the last copy on the earth. I had to go to a you know, video it, it store does on some, Sunset it's Strip. It's me a little bit, but it's not me. You got the wrong person. It's I not. saw the tape, lady. You were a great actress. What do you want? You're involved in a custody battle with Bobby Jones, right? Bobby Jones put you up to this? Bobby you Jones put you up Jones to this? to see this stuff? You keep your voice down. It's blackmail. You know, I can have you over here. What are you going to do? Go to the police commissioner? I got somebody over at social services who'd love to see this. How much do you want? Fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand is out of the question. I can't. What's your little boy's name, Lucas? You don't understand. I can't get no, my head. No, you don't understand. Fifty thousand dollars is chunk change. You own a TV station. Now you're going to go get that money. You're going to get it today. You're going to get it in cash. You understand me? You take the rest of the morning, I can't all right? do it this morning. I do it or this goes to Bobby Jones. Your house, 1130.
You better have the tape, and you better have that poster with you. What, I don't look like an honorable man to you? funny when people come out of a room like this they're usually supposed to feel relaxed miss hill looked very upset you know i don't want you upsetting our client she has Lucy, very powerful friends i have and... some explaining to do how you doing where have you been you don't have any right taking off from work without telling me is this the angry you i love it when you're angry you look so cute that one one like one that. more bad move and you're gone you will have no job i may be gone anyhow i think i won the lottery I have a lot of... As a matter of fact, I'm going to go celebrate. Would you come with me to celebrate tonight, dear one? You just don't give up, do you? No, I don't give up. I never... I don't know how to give up. That's always been, I think, a problem for me. I have to count every red set. It's in there. You know, just I didn't give get a me chance to let you know that I really did enjoy your performance in this movie. Are there any other copies of this? I don't know about the whole world, but as far as I'm concerned, there's not another car. I certainly didn't make one. Get out of here. Let me walk you out. If we get another Let me just make you... one thing perfectly clear to you. This is the end of it. End of what? I live here, Humphrey. What's going on? Uh, Marco, uh, Mr. Dane came by because there was a special at the the spa that he and I thought I wasn't interested. It's a once in a lifetime offer. I was telling her it's now it, or know, never very... because now we're. What's the matter with you? Can't you take no for an answer? No, I can and I will. I'm sorry if I've bothered you, Mrs. Don. I'll see myself out. Just keep me in mind. That's all I ask. Oh, Sean. Mm. Whoa. Oh. What was that for? Oh, for sighting me. That man has been hounding me. Oh, but if, you know, times are tough, I guess. People are desperate these days. Yeah, I guess you're right, I... You seem a little distracted, honey. Actually, I am. I had some very disturbing news from Scotty. Do you want to tell me about it? Uh, uh, no, not right now. Hmm. I thought you were going to pick Lucas up over at Bobby's. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I uh, haven't done it because Marco came. I just haven't done it yet. I see. You know, I, I think I'll give Julia a call and report this guy. I doubt very much that she realizes her employees are operating like this. I don't think that's necessary, honey. I mean, I, you don't want him to lose his job, you know. I think he got the message. You were good. Huh? <laughs> Besides, I think Bobby probably enjoyed that extra time with Lucas, you know. She and Tony took the day off and... Really? Yeah. <laughs> Something else. What? Well, I was showing all this consideration for Bobby. I told you I would. Well, telling me is one thing. Actually doing it is another. You know, I miss Lucas. I gotta get him, okay? I'll All right. Get him. I'll be, uh, All right, I'll see I'll you in a while. Right. Residing in a home where a convicted felon, Felicia Jones, may eventually return to. Uh, it may not be such a bad idea after all. In fact, it may end up being very useful in our efforts to uh, get you permanent custody of the child. I'll be in touch. Or you can call me. Oh, poor John! <laughs> 